Hello friends, it's Gavin here. If you never knew this about me, but I have quite a fondness or taste for classical movies. I'm not a big fan of watching all of them, but many of them stand out as uh, sort of gold mines of, you know, a wave that people were in the past that is definitely lost today in terms of a variety of things from just people's overall demeanor and respect for each other to the elegance and sometimes even the costumes or clothing that they wore at different time periods. And one of my all-time favorites, in fact, my all-time favorite movie, uh, at least from the past, would be in my top five all-time favorite movies, is Gone with the Wind. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, my favorite character in there is Rhett Butler, and on Vine I've been over the last few months, doing little clippets of lip syncs of some scenes where he was talking, sometimes talking with other people, sometimes uh, it's just his words being lip synced too that I'm uh, doing. So I've compiled all those in one. I've just sort of wrapped up 20 little clips uh, today actually, and I don't plan on doing any more. So with that, here they are. Don't flatter yourself. I'm not a marrying man. I won't kiss you for it either. Open your eyes and look at me. Oh, I don't think I will kiss you. Sir, you are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. Don't think that I hold that against you. Ladies have never held any job for me. Frank, you go. What shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Are you still determined to do this crazy thing? Oh, yes, yes, I know we can get to it. Uh, we, my dear, you. I'm leaving you here. I want more than flirting from you. What do you want? One day I want you to say to me the words I heard you say to Ashley Will. No, you are awfully kind. I'm not kind. I'm just tempting you. I never give anything without expecting something in return. I always get paid. Well, can it be possible that... It won't be possible, Red. That you've grown a woman's heart. A real woman's heart. In spite of you and me and the whole silly world going to pieces around us, I love you. Because we're alike. They have lots, both of us. I don't know a woman in Paris who wears pantalettes anymore. You shouldn't talk about such things. <laughs> you little hypocrite. That's pretty of them. Oh, Red. Why oh, you do run on teasing a country girl like me? Thank heavens you're not in rags. No, why I let you come and see me? I'll tell you why, Scarlet. I'm the only man over 16 and under 60 who's around to show you a good time. Then you insult me. I meant it as a compliment. And I hope to see more of you when you're free of the spell of the elegant Mr. Wills. Turn around. Oh, no, guys, I faint. I want you to faint. This is what you were meant for. Oh, awfully kind. I want to see if somewhere there isn't something left in life of charm and grace. How do you know that I love you? That's your misfortune. You're not worth $300. I don't care what you say, only give me the money. $150 in gold. I tried everything. If you'd only met me halfway. And you were so nasty. And then when you were sick, and it was all my fault. South singing to his knees. He'll never rise again. I'm afraid you talk like that before. I'm angry. I think it's hard winning a war with words, gentlemen. What we've got is cotton and slaves and arrogance. That's right. <coughs> now, Tom, what do you want to arrest him for? I've seen him drunker. I've seen you drunker. You have her things packed and ready for me in an hour, or I warn you. I've always thought a good lashing with a buggy whip would benefit you immensely. 